Hello, bees bladers. Welcome back and welcome newcomers to the channel. I have a brand new wee knife. Oh, yes. And I know it's going to be a Mr. Fancy Pants. Look at that. Whenever you see that, you know it's going to be good stuff. I hope you're having a fantastic day. You know I am because I'm, I'm shaking it up. I'm trying to shake this box open. I can't wait to take a look at this. This knife right here won Blade Show West Best Factory in Show 2023. And we have one to check out. Out. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Are you ready for this? I know I am. Oh my gosh. Whoa, yes. This is the Wii Equivoc. Would you look at it? Just look at it. Every time I get to open up a new Wii knife, I get all excited. Look at that. Arctic Storm Fat Carbon inlays into that black stonewash titanium. Oh my gosh. And check out the pivot. The pivot looks so good. And then if you look over here, oh yeah, a little bit of flame anodized. Oh, look at that. Jeez, that looks so good. Flame anodized pivot cap with the anodized hardware. The, the hardware is also titanium on this bad boy. And check this out. Look at that. They have the blue Wii matching that Arctic Storm Fat Carbon. Oh, it looks so good. You do have a place for a lanyard back here. This is a frame lock and it is lightweight. It feels very nice. You ready to see this blade? Pow! Right in the kisser. Oh yes, that's what I'm talking about. Mr. Fancy Pants. Look at this blade. Oh, and by the way, in case you didn't know, this is CPM 20 CV blade steel, baby. Oh yeah, and let's see. Uh, yes, of course, you know the jimping was gonna be perfect. Wee Knife always nails the jimping. Nice fuller, I'm gonna see if we can use this fuller to do a reverse flick here in a second. Has a big forward choil, which means we'll be able to choke up. We'll get all choked up. Three little tiny speed holes, that's not too bad. Sometimes folks don't like the big speed holes. And here's a look at this side, and here's a quick tour of this side. And I can tell you right now, just from feeling this knife, that it was sharpened very well. It has a very toothy edge on that blade. Woo, boy, it's like, yeah, just come a little closer. Let me, let me, yeah, just get up and close and personal with you. You know what, I'm gonna grab one I wanna do a size comparison with. Because this is one I know a lot of people have and or want. Oh yeah, look at that. There's the Wii Kite Fin. So if, the, if you have a Kite Fin and you want a little bit larger knife, this one is just a tad smaller than the Equivoc. And while we're all up close and personal, let me do a couple of size comparisons comparisons for you. Here is the Spyderco Paramilitary 2, and then here is the Spyderco Para 3. Just to give you a little idea of what we're smelling when we're stepping in it. And now let's check out the action and the ergos of this bad boy. So my hand is four inches from here to here, three and a half from here to here, and from the bottom of my palm to the tip of my middle finger, just over seven and a quarter, and let's see how it feels, oh yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, you know, sometimes I'm a little nervous when I have little curves going on on a knife handle, but yes, that fits my hand like a glove. Super comfortable, no hot spots. That is dreamy. And then choking up, oh yeah. A little chokey choke, that is comfy. This is gonna be a good everyday carry knife. It's not overly heavy. I love the feel of it. How does it action? Ooh, not too bad, let's see. So we have a stonewash blade, and even with a stonewash blade, it is that smooth. Here's a little bit of acoustics for you. Oh yeah, that is pretty nice and it's super snappy. There's great jimping. If you can see, they wrap the jimping around. It's nice and grabby and look at that. Oh wow, it's faster than a switchblade, baby. Now, can we use this fuller for a reverse flip? Yes, yeah, so we, it's a multiple deployment knife and a little bit of slow roll action. Oh my goodness. Okay, listen, I'm telling you, if you want a nice full size everyday carry knife that's not overly large, and if you have very large hands, you can see you can still choke up and fit plenty of fingers in there. And this little, this little landing pad, this thumb ramp back here, the jimping is just right. It's not too aggressive. I wouldn't want it too aggressive with my th thumb cocked back this far, but it works just right. This is gonna be an, uh, this is gonna be one in my pocket. It just has that blade shape. It has that lightweight feel and it's, oh man, it's so snappy. I like the sound of it. And the look at this fat carbon, that carbon fiber, a little bit of carbon fibre looks so good. 
Mm, 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 mm. We Knife just always picks out the best little features, adds, they always match things together. And wow, the colorway on this one, I saw the colorways on the other ones. I think this one's my favorite of all of them. And there's a few to choose from. Oh, by the way, if I didn't mention it, We Knife, just for a couple more days, is has, still having their holiday sale. I have a 15% stackable code and I'll put the link down in the description and in the comment section where if you want to go stack a code on top of sales stuff this is the time to do it because you know this is the best time of year to buy knives and oh wow I, I can't say that I have anything to complain about great blade steel great finish on that on that black wash that stone wash I like how they have the th three small holes matching the three small holes matching the three small holes they they all go together it's not overboard it's not overdone with giant holes through the handle so that is a plus I don't mind them as a small accent the ergonomics you look how it flows in my hand it is very comfortable. The edges out here are almost crowned in nature. They're just so chamfered very well, nice and smooth. There's no rough edges. There's your stop pin right there. And then our lockup, it has good lockup. And how about our blade centering? And you know, somebody mentioned in one of my videos recently, they said, that blade's not centered. I question everything you say. Well, let me show you something. If I go like this, or if I go like this, it depends on where the camera is. <laughs> so you have to take my word for it when I tell you whether a knife is centered or not. But see there, if I try to hold it in the right place where you can tell. Anyway, this is the Wii Knife Equivoc. I hope you enjoyed checking this out with me. Tell me what you think about it. Hit the thumbs up button that helps support the channel and the video and let YouTube know, hey, you know this, guy's, this guy may be crazy, but I do like seeing the knives and I do like his enthusiasm because that is something that people have said and I am very enthusiastic about the knives. I really enjoy it and I love showing them off. So tell me what you think and then go watch this video. You're really gonna enjoy that. And until I see you again in the lives or the chats or the hives, stream. Remember, live life in the present, keep a band-aid handy, and don't cut yourself.